that we've been feeling this week, well, we know we didn't like it, but for wineries, hey, they're jumping for joy. It's perfect weather. Sure is. And this week, owners spent time harvesting the grapes for ice wine. Let's bring in Meg Shaw live to explain how it, how it all works. She's had a front row seat to all of it before. It's cold, but ooh, it goes down nice every time and we get to sip it, Meg. It really does. You know, one time when I was out there, he actually gave me juice straight from the grapes, you know, well before they fermented. It is so sweet. The uh, the vineyard owners that I talked to this week say that's how they stay up all night long because they just keep drinking this sugar juice. But um, these grapes, you know, we're only one of five places in the entire world that can really uh, have good weather conditions to harvest these grapes. So when I caught up with vineyard owners this week, they say it all went well and they are looking forward to everyone trying this wine. They're the kind of conditions that keep most of us bundled up under blankets. But for Northeast Ohio vineyard owners, it's all about getting cold. And that's what freezes these grapes, and that's what makes it unique. These below freezing temps are considered the sweet spot for harvesting grapes to make ice wine. So you have to get them off the vine when they're frozen. And the main reason for that is not, not just for, for the, the production, but if you're taking them off the vine when they're not frozen, they're mush. And they come off and you leave a lot of the juice out in the field. So when they're frozen like marbles, they just pop off the vine really nicely. I caught up with the owner of Lorello Vineyards just a few hours after they wrapped up in the fields. We had 22 people. We picked about eight tons of grapes in about four hours. Owner Larry Lorello tells me to get it all done, they teamed up with their competitor, Ferrante Winery, using some of their equipment. When, when each of us needs something, we help each other out. Once the grapes are plucked from the fields, it's off to the press where the juice is squeezed out. Then fermentation. Lorello says once that's complete, it's time to raise a glass. It doesn't compete with other wines. It's, it's a dessert wine that competes against a piece of chocolate cake. Both owners tell me despite having fewer guests visit their wineries, they're still doing well amid the ongoing pandemic. What we lost in drop off because of people not coming or for whatever reason, we got more uh, shipping sales. All right, so now if you're craving a glass of wine at 6.15 in the morning and you're wondering when you can get your hands on this ice wine, the uh, grapes that they harvested this week will be ready to go by March. They say they like to get it ready in time for the annual ice trail, which kicks off out there in Geauga and Ashtabula counties. Uh, all of the wineries out there have their ice wines ready to go at that point. But they a lot of the times focus on the year prior because obviously it's been sitting in the bottle a little bit. But guys, you know, when I was talking to these vineyard owners, they say, which is so crazy to me, they say, 17 degrees is the sweet spot for harvesting. Um, Lorello actually started harvesting and it was 19 degrees and they almost called it off. That is how specific this becomes.